I think our preparation for the tournament could have been a lot better. Uh, I think uh, what I said in the interview is something you can just easily say <laughs> um, to just get it over with. But uh, yeah, in all honesty, I think uh, we should have prepared a lot better. I think uh, that's what pretty much made us go this way, I think. The reason we chose uh, Golden uh, to stand in for uh, Plopski is because we, th we know he's a good team player and he can uh, fulfill roles. Uh, since he's an in-game leader, he understands uh, the big picture a bit better than others. So we thought uh, he would be a good fit for us. And uh, of course, we thought about having him, him as the IGL for the event. And uh, since we didn't prepare as good as we should have, uh, that wasn't a possibility for him to in-game lead the event since we, had, uh, we got too little time and uh, we pre didn't prepare as good as we should have. <laughs> hey, what's up, ladies? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> We've always been uh, having uh, Plopski on practice and in, uh, at the event, of course, and uh, he's an awesome player. I think uh, he's learning a lot and uh, he's just going to get better from here. I think the Mibram match was a good match. Uh, we had both like similar situations playing with stand-ins and uh, I think we could have done a lot better uh, if we played uh, better defaults and just uh, everyone knew what to do in each round. I think it would have gone uh, a lot more better, but uh, they, had, um, they had really good chemistry in their team and uh, they played really well, so they won. Now they're allowing Lucas to push up behind this smoke. Molotov, he knows exactly what's coming. Spraying through, he's gonna hold the trigger. He's got two. They're way too blind and way too scared of that smoke to try and come through and equalize it. He's got one more. Tapping away, get right, taking some damage. And what a round from Lucas, the newest recruit on the MIBR. And now two defenders are here again. Forced up, fighting at the flames, he burns. And Golden in the open, sprays down two. It's just fur, and Golden's got that as well. Big, big fight for Rez. If they want a chance at this retake, he has to win this. Lucas staying committed in towards Halls. He goes for the wide swing and he loses that. Two on two. That's a big chance here. Rez has got a smoke with maybe by a lot of time. Oh, Sue's pre-firing it, but not going to be able to do it. Now it's on for sneaking out through the doors. He sees it. He misses the chance. And that might have been his only one. What a retake for NIP. Hard to believe they really did that. Yeah, you get yours. Yeah, who go Grenade right? left on him, and it's very hard. He's, he's locked in this corner, and he misstep. Now they know where he is as well. Grid headshot. Oh, Necro right there with the AWP. And Taco's gonna win it. A huge triple for him. They're so excited, aren't they? <laughs> uh, you haven't seen that out of MIBR in a long time, but obviously a huge round to win. That's the entire economy of NIP was in that round. It's the ninjas in pajamas taking on crazy right here at the Star Ladder Major. Guys, this is day number two. What are we thinking about these two teams? I think we expected probably to see NIP here, if I'm being honest. I mean, maybe that MIBR matchup was like so 50-50. Obviously, MIBR using Zeus. NIP coming off that long break using Golden as a stand-in. But this matchup against Crazy, you have to favor the young guns on Crazy. They looked so good in the Challenger stage. First, but the flashbang stops him from collecting the shot. Up on the high ground, he'll get taken out. And Lecro delivering the AWP once again. It's a cleanup on the A bomb site. NIP bleaching the floors. No traces of Crazy in that round. Esperanto charging forward. W all the way. Can't quite finish off. Get right. All res. Gets his reload in, but he might not last very long. Oh my god! Okay, never mind. Get right one versus four. Absolutely disgusting stuff. Esperanto versus two on the sidewalk. Completely exposed reloading. Somehow gets two headshots from it. We had a really bad CT start. We had like 8-7 as CT, and that's pretty not good enough on the train. 
Uh, since uh, they got out of T-Main all the rounds and they flanked us maybe four or five times, it was uh, really hard to get back uh, mentally and, and get the, as much CT rounds as we needed. We struggled on T-side a bit and uh, that was pretty much it. And he takes one in the, fa in the face. Hunter may want to hold on to what he has now. There's no defuse kit for these two players. And left one's on the floor. The Deagle continues. Esperanto, no! No! I cannot believe he's just done that! The round Esperanto did a huge play with his Deagle was uh, pretty much that he uh, snuck around rest, I think. He got a good like uh, read on the situation and he sneaked past our offensive line. We missed a few shots uh, in the back and uh, he got a really good highlight, I think. I think in the North game they uh, watched the demo of the crazy game of course and uh, they realized our weaknesses and uh, I think they used it really well and I think uh, we never went through our own weaknesses as we should have on, uh, on the crazy game on why we lost it and if we would have done that I think we could have stopped the similar playstyle uh, North did as crazy did on the T side. Hello ladies and gentlemen, the best of three. I'm Machine. he's Henry G, and we've got ourselves NIP versus North. Uh, this is an intriguing one because, sure. do you know what my mama taught me from a young age? What's that? Manage expectations. We've got NIP here who are looking extremely weak. This is probably the worst looking NIP I think we recall in recent times. The A bomb site. He's getting plenty of chances. Yeah, 8 HP, how is he still alive here? Finally, he takes it down, gets a double. That pretty much is the round, ladies and gents, because Get Right and Lecro are in a five versus two. They know where Lecro is. Get Right gets a bullet to the face. Maisie will take care of him. And there it is. They really needed a flying start here on train to even stand the chance, if you ask me. I do want to keep my eye on Kirby's position, because he's right again, found a gap. Look at this. From behind, he strikes, catches Golden with his pants around his ankles. Lecro's got to react, but he's got, he can't turn his back for long. Oh, the timing's brutal. Kirby sneaking from Ivy when CT attention was drawn and just like that the round completely disintegrates in front of NIP. Time will tell. AZ is positioned towards that pop dog area. To catch him on sneaking out. To drop off considering he was flashed but that's a nice clean frag. Get right now towards Ivy. Yugi looks to find his second kill of the round. I think we might be done here Alex. As it is a five on one. Decent attempt there from NIP. I, I was Total respect for them. They they really gave it everything to the very last round there. What is a man supposed to do? Hunger in my eyes, I'll stand up close to you. I'll never fall no, ever. behind the ball. Oh dear. Back turn, pants around their ankles, and Gates gonna do exactly oh, the same. It's, don't like that. Yeah, the sound effects from Henry summarize it perfectly. And perfect is not the word. NIP are going to be using to describe that one. Just massacred. They have got kids. A man disadvantage though. Making a lot of noise with CD Spawn. Golden probably next on the chopping block. Forest there as well. And here we go. Rez with it all to play for. A tournament he's going to want to forget. And we'll see him spray down at two players there. I don't think anyone in the team really played until uh, like to their full potential. Everyone is a really good individual player in our team and sometimes you just uh, you can't perform every time but then you need someone else or several elder other people to uh, perform for you. So I don't think it's the whole world if you have a bad event or some bad games because uh, you should have a team to back you up and uh, I don't think we did either. I'm sorry guys for all you true fans who really support us and want us to win. I'm sorry we disappointed you and uh, played really badly and not to our true selves. I think we should have prepared better for this. 